is William Ajapong, a PhD student in data science at UDEP. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create triggers in XAMPP, okay, specifically using PHP, my admin, which is um, a SQL or database administration software that comes with XAMPP. And just so you know, XAMPP is a web server, okay? So, and this video assume, assume that you already have it installed if you don't you can easily install it because it's an open source um, software and then um so first of all make sure you have your service running by launching your exam control panel as i have it here and then go to manage service so here there are three um the two main servers that you will need for this um, demonstration at the SQL database server as well as the Apache web server and as you can see um, both are running for me and you can also run yours by simply clicking or selecting any of them and then um, clicking the start button here okay all right the next thing is to open your favorite browser and uh, for this uh, video I'll be using Chrome now to go to PHP my admin, all you need is type local host forward slash PHP my admin, and then it will take you there. If your some uh, the Apache web server and the SQL database servers are running, if not, you're gonna have some trouble coming here. Okay, so let's go ahead to create a new table. Okay, just for the benefit of. Um, new users of this PHP my admin software so it's very easy but before that uh, let me point out that in this environment you can either use the point and click functionalities available here by choosing any of the options that you see around okay to do whatever you want or an alternative is um, if you know how to write the actual SQL code you can also um, click the SQL tab and then you type your SQL code and hit go. So for this data, new database, I'm just going to use the point and click by clicking new and then providing the database. So I'm going to call this CS5342DB, um, okay, 5342 oh, what did I do? Okay, just did CS53, well, that's not what I want. Let's just um, drop it. Okay, I can choose this hit drop. Make sure you are dropping the right table because it's gonna be undone. Now let's go back to create the table we want. I'm gonna call it CS with the three DB. And if you are curious, I'm naming this database, giving this name because uh, this video is actually being recorded for the database management class. Um, run by offered by the cs department here at utep and this class is specifically the spring 2023 um, version and it's actually cross-listed between um, cs 4342 and cs 5342 for graduate students and i happen to be part of this class okay so if you were wondering all right so now that if you're okay with the name just click create and it's going to give you a brand new um, database with no table and um, from the class i'll be demonstrating or using um, two tables which were provided by the professor of the course so and the tables are called cities and properties so just to save ourselves some time i'm going to copy the um, sql statement here and then we will run them. I haven't run all this um, concurrently. Let's try to do this to see if it works. So let's see what happens. So remember, I'm running to in, um, data table creation um, queries. Okay, the first one ends up there for the cities, and the second one is here for the properties table, and just to point out city here okay the city attributes on the cities table is actually a foreign key on the properties table 
that's why we have this foreign key constraints okay so let's hit go okay bingo so we have those two tables created now um you can see that before we can insert a, a record into the properties table we need to already have the city okay because looking at the structure of the schema we realize that city uh, as part of the properties is a foreign key okay it's a foreign key that's why you have this uh, gray key symbol here so if you don't have it available already available in the cities then uh, you cannot insert a record into the properties table and that's the purpose of this um so let's let's start by inserting some records okay so for city i'm going to give the parcel here texas and then so if you browse it you see we have one record now let's go ahead and insert a record into the properties table so let's say okay for this i'm going to use um, a sql statement okay so let's say insert um into properties remember sql statements are case insensitive uh, the keywords actually those are case insensitive so instead into properties values and i'm going to insert into all three columns so no need specifying the first one is my address i'm just going to say one two three um is main and then the next as you call is the city okay so let's pretend that um dallas is already let's put in dallas okay in the comments i'm just gonna say no comment because <laughs> all right so let's see what happens when we actually attempt inserting this um, in the okay so there is an error and if you read at the bottom here it says cannot add or update child row foreign key constraint fails why because we are trying to um insert okay make a reference to a city which does not exist on the cities table so if we change this back to remember a parcel we created one for that so if we change dollars to a parcel this should work okay bingo it works now um in the properties table you can see we have a parcel so uh, and the, this is the point of um the whole point of the video okay so that challenge that we we run into triggers as you know i can help us overcome it and if you are wondering a trigger is just an object of a database which is associated with a table and um once um it is invoked okay once you perform either an insert update or a delete operation on the associated table so let's uh, create a trigger and the purpose of this trigger would simply um, the work of this trigger will be to insert first any table that we uh, sorry any city that we try inserting into the city column here on the properties table which does not already exist in the cities table okay so it's going to make sure that any city we specify in our insets query okay on the properties table will first be inserted into the cities table so that will be no error and the foreign key constraints will work perfectly okay so uh php my admin provides you this uh, tab called triggers and if you select any table and you click triggers it's going to display all the available triggers okay right now as you can see there are no triggers for this properties table so let's go ahead let's go ahead okay and create one by clicking this create new trigger so every trigger should have a name so we are going to call it adding cities and then on okay a trigger is associated with a table so on properties and then a trigger can either be executed 
before or after so in our case i think it makes more sense okay or it is perfect to um execute the trigger before uh, whatever query that we perform okay and the event here like i said you can do three things you can bind the trigger to three operations insert updates or delete queries all right then down here the definition is where you provide the details of the query so here we want an insert query so the details of this will be simply um, insert okay you can say insert into um, cities remember cities and you can specify the value or just say sets the city the city column to new dot um, city this new dot city the new refers to the new um, record that will be created on the properties table okay so beforehand it's it so just take notes and so this new is kind of referring to like the properties okay record on the properties table and remember on that table you have a city so as part of any insert query against the properties this new will be assigned okay to um, that all right so all we are doing is we are inserting into the cities table we are setting the city column to the one that is being given in the insets uh, query on the properties table and that's all we need okay then it's um go all right so we have it already created and if you but if um you made any mistake or you want to change something you can click edit and it will bring you back here all right so we have it done now let's demonstrate back to the properties now let's try inserting into properties so insert into properties the values um, this time i'm just going to say maybe for that um, east east um, book i'm just making this up okay east oak and then oh east oak yeah and the next thing remember is the city so let's say a city that does not exist like um mm, let's say austin okay austin and then the last thing is the comment so we just say a new well some comments okay let's look at anything all right now go ahead to click go and this time you see even though austin did not initially exist on the cities table we're able to successfully insert onto the properties table because of the trigger now let's check the properties you see we have the new record here okay that we just created with the corresponding city austin and if you go back to cities you realize that um, a new city has been created with the name austin and then um, the state is not because our trigger only takes care of the city part which is the foreign key okay so um that's all i have for today and um thank you for watching